to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to our deacon, to our mother, to our sisters and brothers, and all that is here on today. We give God all the honor and praise for this great opportunity as we come to share God's word <clears throat> with us. That's all that we have will stand. Everything else going down. Amen. But if you know who Jesus is, be well with your soul. And this how come I tell people this. Don't get just get carried away because you remember a local church. Because really you can be lost and long to a church, local church. But you can't be lost in Jesus' church, the spiritual church. Amen. So we know that according to the scriptures, this world system is getting worse, worse, and worse. And it, it really is saying something to all of us. It telling us that Jesus is soon to come back. He let us to know what gonna be happening on the face of this earth before he returned. And sister and brother, the signs of time is here. Amen. Is it here now? God have have ordained it. <clears throat> but um uh, we are secure if you know who Jesus is. But if you don't know who Jesus is, there's no hope. Amen. Our hope lies in the person of Jesus Christ through his death, burial, and his resurrection. So when I read this book, you know what it tells me? It tell me Christ soon to come back. Amen. And then, sister and brother, when I get the paper every day, it telling me the very same thing about this world system and how it getting worse, worse, and worse. A man or a woman life don't mean nothing now. People king and think they're doing. God of favor. Ain't, ain't that sad? Uh -huh. Amen. But this is the way it is, sister and brother. And uh, the Lord has told us to look out for these events. And when we see these type of events coming, then Christ is soon to come back. Amen. On today, we want to look at the book of Seven Corinthians, the third chapter, first through the seventeenth verse. Then I don't know, I might go a little further on Second Timothy, fourth chapter, first through the eighth. And our subject today is how is this world going to be like before Christ returns? How is it going to be? just like it is now. And it's going to continue to get worse, worse, and worse. Amen. And you can put your faith in it. If Jesus said it, then you can believe it. Amen. According to God's word, we are living in the last days. Amen. Before Amen. Jesus come back at his church. This world, again, is getting worse and worse as the day go by. When we think about love, love is waxing cold. Every day, amen, you pick up the Bible, and the Bible tells us all about these signs. Tell us that these are the signs of time. 
that's going on now, how this world is going to be naturally changing. Evil men and women are killing one every day just about. Yeah. Everything that is in this world, sisters and brothers, is not God's way. Amen. But God has a plan. And he don't want us to think that he didn't leave a way for us to recognize how things would be. Because he left it. It ain't the one way for us to miss it. Don't pick up this book. And don't study the word of God. What he tell us study. Show yourself approving the God of work but need not be ashamed. Rightly divide in the word of truth. Amen. That's a song, sister and brother, that I heard years ago from the Bolinaires singing. And you know what that song was? Amen. That song was, I don't know what this world is coming to. But I know. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can't know what makes you study this book. All right. And that's right. You got to study this book to know, amen, soon God is soon to come back. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the sign of time is already here. We are ready now, sister and brother, to go to uh, Second Corinthians, the third chapter, and the first verse, dealing with the character of men in what kind of days? Last, in the last days. It reads like this, sister and brothers. Amen. Do we have the scripture? Mm -hmm. This know also in the what that word? Last. Is, is that in your book? Amen. You got to follow the word of God. Mm -hmm. The last day, he said, Palestine. Amen. Shall come. What do you mean by Palestine shall come? Dangerous time. People will kill you, know I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why you kill him? Well, I didn't like a look. Mm -hmm. Amen. But who do you think behind all of that? Somebody behind it more than the, the people who are doing it. Do we know who that is? Mm -hmm. The devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. But what the devil come for? Kill, steal, mm -hmm. and to destroy. Is he is he up to anything good? No. I hope we see this, sisters and brothers. Amen. And he told us how things gonna be this second verse. He said, For man shall be lover of their own selves. Covenant, boasters, proud, black fleeing, disobedient to parents. Only we had no gratitude and disobedient ringing. <laughs> Unthankful. Amen. Unholy. The Bible said, without natural affection. Maybe I need to pause here. What is natural affection? Natural affection, sisters and brothers, is men. Hey, they will get him a wife. And without natural affection, then what will happen? Man won't work. A man, then what else? 
And the woman won't what? The woman. woman. The woman won't the woman. The woman. Amen. Is that the way God ordained it? No. no. I hope we see this. Amen, sister and brother. And these are the time that things are going to get worse and worse. And now they don't got real uh, proud with it. They don't care who knows. Amen. But that ain't going to way. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Again, without natural. Amen. Affection. Trust breaker. False. Is that false? Accuse. Amen. Unthankful. And what? Unholy. Let's go down to this third verse again. Huh? Oh, uh, we got uh, Second Timothy, the third chapter. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm glad you told me that. Amen. Let's go down to this fold word. Traitors. Heaven. Do we have it? High mind. You ain't got it yet? <laughs> Second Timothy, the third chapter and the fourth verse. Do we have that now? Amen. Traitor. Heavy, high mind, level of pleasure. More than the level of who? God. Amen, sisters and brothers. This is what this world is coming to. Amen. The Bible tells us what they have. Listen at this fifth verse. Have a form of godliness. Amen. But deny the power thereof. Then what did he tell us to do? Tell us to turn away from it, don't we? <laughs> Amen. For such, turn away. Amen. Why? Because they are not following who? They ain't following God's way. Amen. The Bible tells us what the whole group would do. The Bible tells us, amen, for this sort, a day would creep in the houses, amen, led, caps, captain, what kind of women? Let me say that again. Sinner women, and what he is doing, amen, laden with sin, Amen. Leading away a different, dead, uh, diverse world. Lush. That means desires. Amen. I ain't talking about the desire that God has put in the heart, but this desire is what the devil has put in the minds of people. And he told us to look for these. In the last days. Amen. And look what the Bible tells us. This late verse here. The late verse tells us. Even learning. And never able to come. Amen. And to the knowledge. Of the truth. What that mean? Well educated. They have natural ability. But the natural ability won't get to it. Amen. Amen. And James, amen. And Jabos withdraw Moses' soul. Amen. Withdraw Moses' soul. Okay. So do these also resist the word. Truth. Amen. With a corrupt mind. 
Amen. The Bible tells us reprobate concerning the faith. Amen. Our sister and brother, are we here today? Amen. In this time? Amen. This is what the Bible tells us. But they shall not, and they shall proceed no further. For their folly, amen, shall be manifest. That means made known unto all men. Amen. And there was, amen, was. That go back yonder, sister and brother. These men had that same mind that the people have today. Amen. The Bible tells us as we move on down to this tip verse. Amen. But thou have fully known my doctrine. Now what I need to know. I need to know now who is this writing this. Who is it? This is Apostle Paul and a writing to who? The church. Amen. I hope we see this. Amen. Uh, doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. Amen. These things is here today. Persecution. Amen. A fixed flinching which came into me at Antioch. At Iconius and Laos. Amen. What persecution I endured. What Paul is saying. He went through those things. The way what we might have to go through with. Some of the very same things, sisters and brothers. Time, time and have made us recognize it ain't like it used to be. Amen. Amen. But the Bible tells us, amen. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. That means the Lord will be with you every step of the way. Whenever you will put your faith and confidence in who? When you put your confidence in the Lord, he'll be with you every step of the way. Men, the men and women were women. Maybe I need to pause here because certain brothers, sometimes we think that those who have been in there ain't got no hope. But Jesus let us to know they do have a hope. All they have to do is make a bow face and accept him. Amen. The Bible tells us as we move on down to this script verse, yea, and all that the real God is in Christ Jesus, what is the last two words? Shall suffer persecution. Do you think that we can get by without some persecution, being persecuted? Amen, sisters and brothers. Amen. It's in the book. Amen. You got to put your faith and confidence in it. Amen. Look what the Bible tells us what's going to come on the face of this earth. Amen. And already here, listen at this. But evil men and seducers so what? Worship and worship. And what they going to continue to do? Deceiving and also being deceived. Amen. This is the kind of world that we are living in. Amen. Don't you put no confidence in this world, sister. Because it's got to go that way because God said. Amen. But he tells us what we supposed to do. This 14th verse here. He said, but continue thou in the thing which thou have learned and have seen or sure or known of whom thou have learned them. Where did these people learn these truths from? Who wrote the book? Apostle Paul. I hope we see this, this concerning the church. The body of Christ, sister and 
brother. You ain't got to get it from the four gospel books. Amen. Because that there wasn't under the what, age of the church. That was God dealing with his what? Earthly peoples. Who was his uh, earthly people? The Jews. Well, who are we? Gentile, the church, the body of Christ. Oh, I hope we see these truths. Amen. God have a plan. God have a way. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, the 15th verse. Amen. And thou talking to, who Paul talking to? Timothy. Amen. He, he talking to Timothy. And, and, and uh, that he may learn the truth. And then also he talking to who? Us. Amen. And that from a child thou have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make them wise and to what? Salvation through faith, which is in who? Amen. God has a plan, don't he? Amen. Can you put your faith in it? Amen. Amen. He is our everything. Amen. What the Bible tell us? This name in the 16th verse. Yeah. Amen. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and probable for doctrine, mm -hmm. for reproof. Amen. What that name word? Corruption. Corruption. Amen. For instruction. And what that last word? Righteousness. Amen. Let's go on down to this 17th verse. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, amen, into all, what those two words? Good works. Amen. We have to continue to do the work that God will be pleased at us. Let's go down to this fourth chapter. I charge thee before God. Amen. And the Lord Jesus Christ, whom shall judge the quick and the what? Dead at his appearance. Amen. And his kingdom. Amen. Well then, those who are going that other route, can they get by with it? No. no. Amen. What did Paul told the preacher to do? Just let verse verify. He tell us, amen. Preach the word. Amen. Amen. Be instant and see them. Mm -hmm. I will see them, reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering. We want to say if you live close enough to the Lord, you won't have to suffer. <laughs> Don't put no stock in that. Amen. Amen. Here it is right here. Let me go back over it again. This second verse. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. Doctrine what God has given Apostle Paul for what age? The body of Christ. Oh, I hope we see these truths. Amen. Look what the Bible tells us. Amen. This third verse. For the time will come when they will not endure what in the, that name two words? Amen. Sound doctrine. Amen. A whole lot of folks don't want sound doctrine. Amen. Amen. And that's the only thing that they're going to bless them sound doctrine. Amen. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having each years. 
Is that, is that in your book? Amen. Amen. And they shall turn away their ear from the, what is that word? Truth. truth. Mm -hmm. In substance, what he is saying. They don't want the truth. Amen. You'd be surprised at some of the people that don't want the truth. And the truth is the only thing that's going to bless them and that's going to make this journey is the truth. Amen. And shall be turning to what they were. What that mean? What, what that mean? What, what that word really mean? Amen. Turning to, to things, sister brother, that God ain't in no thing. Have that type of is, uh, is. Amen. But he said, but watch. Is that, is that in your book? Mm -hmm. Watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. Well, who is he talking to? He ain't talking to one group. Who is that? The Christian. Amen, sister and brother. But watch thou in all things, enduring affliction. Amen. God is good and in mercy endure forever. But watch thou in all things again, enduring affliction. Amen. Do the work of a, what that word? Evangelist. Amen. Making what? Full proof of the what? The ministry. Amen. Now Paul, they get ready to leave here because they got killed, Paul. They got killed him because he wouldn't take down. Amen. And he know his time was up. Amen. But wash thou in all things, endure, amen, endure affliction, do the work of in vain, going back over this again, make what again? Full what? Full, full proof of your minister, and then what he went on and said, for I now ready, mm -hmm. ready for what, Paul? Ready to be offered. Mm -hmm. He said, the time of my departure is in the hand. Amen. He said, I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. I finished my course. Then I laid up for, amen, finished my course. I have kept the what? Mm -hmm. I have kept the first faith. He said, hit for me. They laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Amen. And not to me only. Amen. But they're going to include who? All other believers who are true to God's word. But unto them which also that love his word. His appearance. Amen. Christ is soon to come back. Amen. It can be just like he said it would be. Amen. Amen. We're living in that age and time now. And sister brother, don't look for the age and the time of this world to get any better. Because what did Jesus say to do? Get what? Now, who we gonna believe? What the devil tell us or what God tell us? You know the devil gonna tell you no. Everything will happen. Amen. And did you know he can he can speak to the Christian? Just because we say that that don't mean the devil can't speak to you. But he can't too much just tell you a lie because that was he. Is that right? Amen. And they come in way that what? Sin is right. But at the end, death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Amen, sisters and brothers. We are living in that age and that time now. It got to get worse, worse, and worse. Mm -hmm. Amen. But what we need to do, 
make sure of something. Save. Amen. If you save, where are you going? Suppose you can save and die. Yeah. Amen. And sisters and brothers, did you know this? And I'm going to sit down. Did you know this, sisters and brothers? That we and the laws going to live as long as God lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. The man that don't know Christ he got burned just as long as God lived. And you, you, you know the play when God stopped living? No. So now, all mankind being the bone, amen, to be an eternal being. Who's going to be the eternal being? The lost man in his state? In the man who know who Jesus is, both parties are going to do what? Live throughout eternity. And sisters and brothers, don't care how long you've been there. Mm -hmm. It's just like you just begun. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there's no hope out of it. But if you know who Jesus is, we too gonna live as long as Christ lives, and He gotta live what throughout eternity. Amen. When when He made, when God made Adam and Eve, He made a bunch of people for what e eternity. Amen. But now, what they have to do for that? Have a good time in eternity. They must do what. Except who? Jesus you must accept Jesus Christ. If a man die, sister and brother, and then miss heaven. Mm -hmm. If he's been in hell for thousands and thousands of years, guess what? Is it, is it, is it, is it finished with it? No! no! It's going to be eternity. What the good part of, about this? That man who know God, what he going to do? He going to live forever just as God going to live forever. Amen. In having the best time in his life. What we have in our head, nothing in comparison well, I hope we see the truth. Nothing in comparison, amen, sisters and brothers, to what we're going to receive after this life. Because if you really saved, you're going to heaven. Ain't but one place for you. Suppose you won't accept him. But I'm claiming, I'm claiming the number. Bring, 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 where that, that man, that woman going? Yeah. Bring how long? Bring he, he, bring he to get out sooner or later? Yeah. Amen. What eternal means? Mean exactly what he said. Man going to live for eternity, sister and brother, while she's saved. So, I, I myself, I desire. Amen, sisters and brothers. And make Jesus my choice. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. Do you love him? Yeah. Amen. If you love him, sister and brother, where are you going? Where are you going? If you love him. You go, let's go you don't love him. Where are you going? You go to place now, because this place is going to be burned up. <laughs> don't, don't, don't think that I stay here. No, you ain't got to stay here because God's going to burn it up. Oh, I hope we see you too. Right. Amen. And that.